Yeah, I'm just going to grab my iPad. Okay. All right. Well, hello, everybody. Very uh, happy to have my very special guest, my good friend, Thomas McRocklin, uh, with me today. I've been looking forward to this hang. Am, am, I, am I on? Am, am I here? Am I live? Are we. <laughs> I think so. Can you, hey, feel, can, can, can you feel I, it? I, I, can, I can feel it. All right. Hey, thank you so much for having me on. And uh, by the way, if you can go back in time and give that kid some lessons, that, that would be mm. great. <laughs> that, that kid was that, that kid was pretty hot though it was uh, really fun i'm like sitting here like trying to look away i'm like no <laughs> no don't show that clip anything but i i love that clip. i mean everybody loves that clip i mean one of the reasons that it's special to me is because you know i also started playing piano when i was very young and had that kind of like missing out on regular life because i was playing piano and playing concerts so when i see you doing that i'm like all right somebody who understands like where i'm coming we can from. relate <laughs> we yeah. can totally relate but you know it's amazing sometimes lots I mean, of trem dives lots of trem wiggling and stuff but yeah right right but um yeah maybe, totally. maybe actually no so what would be the equivalent i'm sorry this is just completely random jordan but what would be the equivalent of a trem dive on a piano how, how did you just do how did you do something silly on a piano when you were like growing up what, what would be the equivalent? yeah right right it is funny to think about that i mean maybe like mm. uh special kinds of like two-fingered glissandos or you know weird stuff weird roles and you know all the things yeah. that you don't do okay. in, with classical music yeah. Okay. Two-finger uh, Colasanto. Okay. Yeah. It's a way to hurt yourself, <laughs> but it's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> very good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. These, these instruments can be very dangerous. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, totally. So um, I want to um, tell our viewers a little bit uh, of our background together. So um, we've been connected not, not all that long right now, but... Uh, no. For a while and we've been in touch and become you know very friendly and uh i recently played on one of your tracks uh which you invited me to play on which was really fun yeah, so so excited we've, we've, we've sort of dropped some teaser clips on my live streams and everybody's been like when can we get it i'm like oh we're just down to the artwork and stuff like that so the final yeah. details but yeah it's it's amazing and you you just completely took the track not even to the next level it, it was just like yeah, it just took it completely somewhere else. Um, yeah, absolutely amazing. So I can't wait for everybody to, to hear that. Oh, so me cool. too. Me too. What's uh, do you have a name for the track yet? Let people. Um, yes, but it's changed a couple of times depending on what oh, the oh. artworks. It, what's it, what it's going to be? I'll find out what the latest version is. Whilst whilst you yeah, do it yeah 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 else. no I mean it was just uh, so Thomas invited me to do the solo I was like you know yeah, absolutely man we'll do it oh so thank you it won't it won't be the first uh, collaboration it's just to get things started you know yeah well I'm I'm yeah I'm I'm up for anything yeah I'm a I'm a, I'm a big fan so. Yeah, you just let me know. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I uh, I tell people about you all the time because I feel like, you know, there's a lot of really great guitar players. I mean, it just we live in an age where the art of the guitar has just come so far, and um, yeah, it's pretty pretty incredible. Every time you turn on Instagram, you see another guy who can just do incredible things. But mm -hmm. um, you know, to find somebody who uh, kind of like stands out from that crowd is uh is unique i really honestly you know i'm not just telling you this but i i feel like you really do stand out with your own kind of like uh you know inventiveness and creativity oh, and fun and now when i watch you play it always makes me mm -hmm. smile 
Oh, well, I, I really appreciate that. Thank you. That was very kind words. Um, yeah, I, I mean, it's an interesting one because, you know, for me, I, I was, you know, obviously I, I, I grew up and was inspired by a lot of the sort of the sort of shred legends, shall we say. But after a certain amount of time, you know, when I started to grow up just a little bit, and I'm talking from like the age five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, and, and I'm sure we might get into some different periods and stuff in a bit, but I kind of became less interested in just out and outright shred, you know, I was interested in more like delivery and melodies and that sort of sense of excitement, which is delivered through phrasing and so much more. So, um, so I try and incorporate more of that into my playing than just blazing, you know, up and down speed sort of uh, patterns and stuff like that. So, uh, hey, Matt, yeah. thank you. <laughs> yeah, like um, when, you know, some of you guys out there know that I've been taking some, you know, guitar tips from some of my friends. And, you know, uh, one of the best lessons I had was when we were together and you showed me. I don't know. You just, just picked a riff like out of the blue. I mean, you could have showed me anything, yeah. but the one mm -hmm. that you showed me was really special to me because it was, first of all, it was really pretty. It was just like a nine. I don't know if you remember it. It was just kind of like this G minor it, nine. Something thing. like something like that. Little yeah. Only you cause... showed it to me in G minor, but let's, that's, that's yeah. the, uh... yeah, because I don't know. No, 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 no. Right. Yes. Yes. Uh... <laughs> You know, it was like right, that kind right. of thing. But when you when you try you you sort of put it over onto the piano, right. it was really cool because I like I heard it in a different light suddenly. Yeah. And uh, that was great. I was like, and I showed it to my wife. I was like, check this out. And it's like this was like a little idea that I was just playing around with. And now he's doing this with it. And it was literally within like, I don't know, like half an hour. There was this like really cool video, and then you're playing something like an interpretation of the whole thing. It was really, really cool. So yeah, it was just a nice combination of something that was technical because I wanted to learn how to do the sweep picking, but also yes, it was yeah. just had a beautiful harmonic idea to it. And I, and I think yeah. I played it. You know, I've been I've been posting on the Instagram just my progress. I think I played that riff, and people were like, "Oh, what a great riff!" <laughs> so <laughs> let me give credit <laughs> where credit is due. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Totally. Oh, man. So uh, it's so nice that you uh, that you brought your guitar uh, to the to the party here. Yeah, I thought why not? Um, and I have some sounds. This is my sort of stream sounds. So um, I have different sounds. You know, some of them are clean and very dreamy, kind of like this. We've got some more heavy sounds. Lots of different sounds, so. Yeah, oh, yeah. great sounds. <laughs> Are those all coming from uh, neural stuff, the neural DSP? Right there, it's an interesting <clears throat> mix. And um, I mean, I could talk about tones and gear, you know, all day. And I, I wasn't that obsessed with it, but now, I'm really into gear, you know, but um, but to answer your question, the majority of those tones there that you just heard, um, it's yeah. done in the quad cortex by Neural DSP. Oh, but then yeah. I do have all of my Neural DSP plugins on a button as well. So I can push a button on the quad cortex and it routes a different input into the audio interface. So oh, that nice. is the, that's the, the new uh, Petrucci plugin right there. And then if I want to flip that over to say the Corey Wong plugin, <laughs> and then I have pedals on the floor like octavers. Wow, wow. That's awesome. So lots of gear around me. Yeah. <laughs> the the um the I I don't know if I told you, but I just got a neural uh these DSP quad cortex. I just saw, well. yeah, I just saw, yeah. Um, how are you getting on with it so far? Well, I just think it's amazing because I had, you know, a whole bunch of little mm -hmm. pedals on the floor and then um, friends at Neural DSP said, oh, we'd love to send you one. I was like, oh my God, that'd be amazing. I'll have it. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, so I've just been going through some of the patches and I'm just like, 
you know, it's just, I mean, I wasn't, I didn't even plug the guitar in for a month while I was learning how to play, like literally sitting there with it totally like on my lap without plugging it. I didn't feel I deserved to plug it in yet, but now I'm plugging it in and I'm like, wow. And it actually makes some things a whole lot easier, you know. The interface is great and I can just see it getting better and better. Um, you know, every time they release an update, it adds some cool functionality and some new uh, features and stuff. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, uh, I love it. And for me, I really started to love it when I started to put my own impulse responses and my own tones together. Yeah. And one of my favorite things about it is profiling amps. Um, you know, I've, I've tried different products that do profiling and kind of capture your physical amps um, into a product. And I've never really <clears throat> thought it was like, that good it either didn't feel right or it didn't play right. so good um but yeah so this sound here is um that sound there is a capture of my victory uh sheriff which is a little tube amp that has a really really cool character and um i use the the neural capture to basically capture that sound into the quad cortex so it's a great way of just getting the sort of characteristics from one of my favorite little tube amps, but without having to crank an actual amp yeah. up, you know? So that, it's stuff like that, that really like sets it apart, you know, a really cool device. That's amazing that you can just like, you literally just can like sample your own amp at home exactly. with that box. Yeah, exactly. Wow. wow. It's really cool. Um, and I actually did that with some of my favorite overdrives and distortion pedals. So I had like a top five of my favorite overdrive pedals. I'm like, yeah, yeah. I hate, I hate like keep having to like, you know, cause it's like Monday, I want this overdrive. It's Tuesday, you know, you yeah, know what we, right. we're like, we're gear, you know, Sounds, we're gear guys, yeah. you know? Sure, yeah, sure. You know, different things inspire us and stuff. So basically I sampled them and used the, the, the neural capture captured all of my favorite overdrive pedals into it and it's like now i can just press a button it loads it and it's got that feel of the real pedals and it's really really cool so that's that's really job. amazing so are those just a tech question like are the once you do all that and you you capture mm -hmm. it are those things that can be shared like do you sell those yes. do you share them with your students do you not so much yeah so i have i've shared eight presets which i've just used all of the internal uh, sort of sounds and overdrive and amps and stuff but then i separate to those eight presets that i shared with neural on the the neural app um i've kind of had these other ones which i've put quite a bit of work into because it's capture my own devices and it all takes time and yeah, yeah. and although it's a relatively straightforward process to to wire it up to your amp and get exactly the amp tone that you want to capture yeah. you know so so those particular items and presets aren't available yet so maybe there will be in the in the app in some shape or form soon i'm sure they'll they'll add some additional functionality like a store or something yeah, I yeah. hope so in, in the future because, you know, right, right. It, it's it's nice to share things, but like you, you, I don't know. It's like a lot of these things do take time and effort, and it's 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 good just to put put a dollar or something on them. You know, it's a little something sure. that comes back for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's yeah. it's an amazing device though, for sure. I love it. Yeah. It's like completely changed my entire setup. I mean, um, your 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 world is very much about sharing in general because you have your whole school mm -hmm. and obviously you put together this beautiful studio that you have just so you can mm -hmm. present and kind of share a little bit of uh you know magic and education well, with uh, yeah with as many people as possible right. yeah i i i've loved teaching for a long time and um a couple of years back when i kind of returned to the uh the music industry i i really i wanted to kind of have in, in some part or another that ability and you know there was a lot of different platforms that want me to do lessons but I just you know as you go through different sort of phases you want to teach different things you know and it's not always possible to throw up a new lesson that's just on hybrid picking or sweeping just because you've got this cool riff or lick that in, that uses the technique so this is where my guitar teaching website School the McGraw came along and um 
Yeah, it, it's it's really been amazing. And we, we've got some fantastic members over there. Some members have been playing 20 odd years and they just feel like they're in a bit of a creative rut. And some are quite early on in their playing and they just want the shortcuts to deliver these impressive techniques without <laughs> spending hours and hours because all the lessons are really just designed to go straight to the good stuff. But yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah I love having that flexibility of like, on the weekend, I'm playing around with a new riff and it's using hybrid picking and it excites me. So then I yeah. build a lesson around that and it's out, you know, a couple of days later. I really, really like that. And the other way that works as well is a lot of our members, um, they request lessons. And um, again, very quickly we respond to that and get something that gives them a, a unique insight as well. So, yeah, I, I really, really enjoy it. Yeah, and we've got some amazing members there. Well, um, I'm sure somebody can put the link to your school on the uh, oh, on the chat because uh, we have a lot of helpers out there mm -hmm. who can dig that up quickly. Oh, thank so, you. Yeah, I mean, you're you're a great teacher. I'm curious, like maybe you can sh before we go to the Patreon uh, exclusive, which we're going to move mm -hmm. to in just a minute, uh, and the Patreon link is I'm sure up on the screen in front of you. Um, cool. I'm wondering what is the next riff you're going to show me in my next guitar lesson? <laughs> have you picked? Have you Ooh, picked? You, what know. you want to turn me on to? I, I haven't because I I fly by the seat of my pants. But I tell you what, Jordan, I, I've seen your dexterity and your power. It's stepping up. So I think something that really emphasizes and lies and lays heavily into that something kind of like uh, oh we're, we're not gonna stand there. oh oh, oh, oh let's oh, sit oh. back down oh, oh. The, the rocket ship is going out of control <laughs> <The rocket ship. laughs> he's trying to get us to go to the dojo um yeah something maybe like <laughs> something like that you Whoa. know we're doing string skipping and we've got a lot of different things happening and then we can add a tap extension oh the tapping thing that is that is on my yeah. agenda and also on our oh. agenda is the whammy bar oh okay yeah, that, well a, my favorite thing with the whammy bar is i always like to have it this way because i use it as a lot of like accents so when i play <laughs> like it that way as opposed to this way where it gets in in the way of the picking hand and i don't really oh, use it that much well, and i don't that, really dive yeah that, that's going to be an important lesson so let's see so we're going to move on to patreon only the link is flashing across your screen thomas is going to yeah. answer questions to the patrons yeah. maybe you'll uh grace us with a few tasty riffs once we go yeah. over to uh, the patreon side and uh, yeah, come uh, come and join us, folks, and uh, and check out our world. After we do the interview, all the interviews I do stay on Patreon. So all the ones I've done with various artists are there, and uh, and this one's going to be really special. And uh, do join us. And now we are going to we're going to flip the switch. Maybe you can flip the switch there too. Uh, 